so this is my smartphone uh, right now I have disconnected it from the cell phone network so the aeroplane icon is visible here you can see so it's data mode is off location is of course on so this is an aeroplane mode that means I have not connected my mobile phone my smartphone uh, to the cell phone network so that is the situation usually in an off grid location where we don't have a cell phone network so that's how this particular app comes into play this app APRS droid automatic packet reporting system and that app is being named APRS droid this is for the droid operating system and this particular map is not a google map uh, this is an open street map OSM so this is open source map that I have downloaded and it is in details of course you don't get detailed information like the map my india or the google map but of course it is enough uh, for our navigation or to get an idea where our asset is where the particular station is uh, in real time because if we consider a situation when the cell phone networks are not working the cell phone network is not there it is data mode is kept off in fact uh, it is the entire con connectivity of the cell phone <laughs> network is uh, not there so this is now a standalone unit uh, graphical unit which gonna make me trans uh, transform my this low cost buffering buffering handheld transceiver into an APRS ready data communication module so actually I am using this smartphone the mobile phone as a display for my handy right I don't have cell phone connection because with cell phone we can do a lot of things but without cell phone we cannot do a lot of things but we can do something else that's what I am going to show you now that is the frequency you can see 145 decimal 800 megahertz uh, of course that is the, the international space station slow slow scan uh, television picture transmission frequency so that's okay because I am inside my house and this gonna cause no QRM uh, to international space station <laughs> and it's it's a uh, load rubber ducky not an antenna exactly so right now I have a cable from uh, USA uh, it's from Bofeng China It is Bao Feng Tech. Uh, they have the production unit in the United States of America uh, for this Bao Feng. In fact, these Bao Feng radios uh, revolutionized the amateur radio communication. The ham radio it has taken to a new height because the cost is low and the device is having many utilities. And we're gonna do a lot of experimentation actually at a very low low cost even if you end up damaging the radio you don't repent for that you end up damaging two three radios you don't repent for that you know probably you can get it for 2500 rupees if you buy it in bulk or maybe lower than that so that's how it has helped us a lot in our do-it-yourself activity and only this is because of this radio <laughs> I'm confident to use my costly this Samsung uh, 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 smartphone the mobile phone from 
South Korea integrate uh, to mind is Chinese buffer handy. Uh, it's a long time, probably more than 10 years on the radio. And we don't have any production unit here right at the moment. Mm. So this is the Baofen tech cable because I always want a, 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 a device to be rugged because in an emergency situation, in a tactical situation, you cannot uh, depend on something that you brewed yourself and the ruggedness would not be there. The hardcore uh, techies would be able to do that. Uh, maybe I can also do that. But yeah, it's okay. I got it from United States of America from Baofeng China. Baofeng Tech. Uh, the website I can exactly give you. Uh, it is the uh, China USA website. Buffang Tech, yeah, buffangtech.com. So you can get the Chinese products from United States of America um, for your use in India. So that's how our hobby is in a way very beautiful actually. And okay, uh, probably let me light it up a little. The day before yesterday was Diwali. And uh, this uh, Alinco radio I got from Japan. Alinco is from Japan, but uh, but uh, when I opened it, uh, I found that it is also uh, made in China. Uh, that do doesn't matter actually. If my next door neighbor is a Chinese engineer. And if he makes in his factory his uh, room, my next door neighbor, I mean, if he makes something and he says, hey, Sandeep, I made it, I say, yeah, you made it cool, man. I, I would love to get it, man. Um, how many dollars you want? So he says, man, give me $20. So I got it. And I gifted him some food in <laughs> addition to the $20. So this is having a GPS. But right now I'm inside my room, so it is not gonna give me the position report. And I have enabled this radio. See, you can see my picture there. That's beautiful. Call sign and everything. W. So right now the frequency is given for this the main channel. A victory in front to Delta Lima Romeo repeater. DLR repeater see the date time is in Zulu time that is oh yeah well, there is one interesting thing there are lots of time zones actually lots of time zones uh, Zulu time is Greenwich mean time or we call it the UTC universal coordinate time and interestingly this radio can actually transmit your position this packet burst the audio that you have heard actually is meant for decoding but who gonna decode it my brain cannot decode it it's a digital signal it's a digital signal being transmitted in the form of analog radio waves that is interesting it is called analog APRs that means yeah, that means it is producing the sound sound of the packet and that is being received that data packet is being received by this Baofeng China uh, radio of course Elinco is Japan but it is Elinco I can call it Elinco China right now that doesn't matter because all I need is my job needs to be done that's it now uh, the frequency actually actually I have programmed uh, this Elinco not to transmit on the video to DLR repeater. But I am setting this radio for analog APRS transmission. Uh, I have selected a frequency and that frequency interval, transmission interval, I have set it for 30 seconds. So every 30 seconds it is transmitting 
its position the position i have programmed into it inside it a fixed position not the gps position a fixed position so if i go to analog aprs this is ana ana aprs analog aprs so you can see what would be my up frequency in which frequency i will transmit the position information so i've programmed it 145 decimal 8 Zero zero megahertz, one forty five point eight megahertz. Confirm. Confirm. Back. Now, what would be happening? Every thirty seconds, it would be. See, this is the GPS. And GPS module, you can on and off. Uh, and the APRS information. APRS information from where you will get. You, you, you're gonna save that actually uh, up type yes up type up type is of course uh, this analog APRS some channel A have selected and and up back one up back one up back one yeah it shows you can, if you are outside your house, you can feed the information taken from the uh, United States Department of Defense satellites, the GPS satellite, or fixed location that you have programmed your coordinates, longitude, latitude, latitude, longitude, north or east, that one. Now, as I said, uh, it is going to transmit only on 145.8 the position information. So it may be somewhere out, out there in off-grid off location and I am also at an off-grid location without cell phone network. That is the main purpose of hand radio. So when you develop an app, if it is a good app, it should have capability to work without internet connectivity, right? You don't have the internet connectivity. Forget about that. Now, the radio box that is uh, voice enabled transmission when you talk its microphone needs to be uh, switched on automatically now i am not feeding the vox signal through the inbuilt microphone here from the sound that is coming from this radio i'm gonna feed that information for more ruggedness and robustness uh, through this bowfang tech cable to my bowfang radio so what would happen it would definitely receive the signal on the, receiving the signal on 145 decimal 8 megahertz the APRS transmission from that radio the fixed location and this cable the, my smartphone right now not connected to the cell phone network I don't want that I don't want the cell phone network at all because that's not good ham radio good hand radio is a radio and your smartphone not connected to cell phone and a radio and you just uh, ex exploit your uh, costly uh, smartphone as a display in in interactive display for your buffering radio so I am hooking it up I am hooking it up and this is open street map i don't want to depend on the google map because in the event of an emergency at off-grid location for real-time navigation uh, even if i download a google map for offline navigation when cell phone network doesn't work uh, it may sometimes not be dependent uh, you read about lots of news people getting lost, being not properly guided uh, to the destination uh, due to poor cell phone network and that should not happen so I'm not connected to cell phone network that's good ham radio with a fan radio connected to my mobile phone the smartphone and I'm gonna use the display you just imagine this radio behind it so actually I'm using my radio not this smartphone but the app is and is enhancing the capability of my 
ordinary analog box and radio the digital thing which it couldn't do now can it can do it so i am going to show you that i'm going to show you so hard now you can see the, the map is not there not there uh, so i started tracking i am not started tracking so silly the aeroplane icon is there my data mode is off and i'm just i've just clicked this button start tracking so you can see small yeah j2 me-8 that's my website and it's just giving any information that if some uh, someone wants to contact me on my another radio maybe the analog analog radio you see now another icon has come up over here to me-7 it's a card icon usually dash 9 is used but one of my other videos is programmed in the u to me-9 uh, I think 16 secondary station identification SSIDs are allowed for digital data communication. Now, if I go to map, uh, if I go to map, you can see, you can see the icons there. You see, So the small boat icon I have created is boat VU2 and V-8. A boat can only be on a lake or a river or sea. So I changed the icon here uh, for my position. This position is actually the position of this App, I programmed the location manually fed the information for my longitude latitude and so it is showing the position of this boat and that is the car and where is that car, that car. and that car is actually transmitting and my boffin is receiving and that car is showing the position just zoom out you see the car is here exactly and it is exactly there it is a simulation because i am doing it all inside in a very close space and this is the ministry of science and technology campus so you can see here where the car is and in fact uh, uh, if you go to the hub so hub you can get to know the details of being packets transmitted here and uh, yeah so that's what uh, this application is all about you can do text messaging from radio to radio you can use another boxing with a mobile phone or a, I mean a smartphone uh, without internet connection and do the data communication texting is possible uh, tracking uh, in a map is possible in an off-grid location without cell phone network so that is the beauty of the radio you don't need the internet at all right thank you yeah it looks beautiful So that's what amateur radio is all about. I'm not connected to internet. That's not good ham radio. I'm 
doing it radio to radio. Buffering radio, low cost. See. My smartphone is in aeroplane mode. Cell phone and data network is off. And it has picked up the signal. So it is buffering handy. From that alien code. That's a costly one and this is a much cheaper one. And that's all about. So again I'm going to show you in the hub where you can see the time when you received the last packet. The last packet data 1924 hours today is 7th of November. This wide 1 dash 1 is the part. Uh, this is the wide, uh, means uh, by default we can set a part in packet transmission. If we have digital repeaters, unfortunately, we don't have uh, digital repeaters. Uh, those were earlier days called relays, but relays has gone defunct. Now it's called wide. Uh, wide is a repeater which can give much better coverage owing to its height. Ideally, it should be located maybe 200 300 feet above uh, so that it gives straight level coverage in a city uh, for tactical asset tracking, amateur radio communication. This is what all about radio integrated to our modern devices made for the common people and exploited by explored, explored and experimented by radio amateurs hands for data communication without internet. Thank you. 73. Have a good time. This is Victor Informer, Mike Informer, signing clear. Bye for now.